this is the TWA Hotel at JFK and it is amazing. So little history, this terminal was built in the 1960s. Check it out. Very mid-century modern. And this is where TWA had their had their gates, had their terminal at JFK and until the end of their existence due to an unfortunate accident when the fuel tank exploded on a 747 on its way to, I believe, Paris Flight 800. And unfortunately, that pretty much spelled the end of TWA. But it had a lot of issues um, before then, but that was kind of like the nail in the coffin, so to speak. Um, this terminal here and the investors that decided to come into this place and sink millions of dollars to restore it back to its original luster. This, it, it's basically how it was when it was built. Check it out, you can see, you can see the uh, clock up there, which of course is very important for air travel or anything that's time related. Check out the sun, you can't see it, 1962. Um, but the walkways that you see over here just kind of suspended in mid-air. And this is where people in the mid-60s, until the terminal was decommissioned and abandoned for several years, this is where they came. They would walk through those doors, be dropped off, and it's so cool. They have an old 1960s car, car out front, which just kind of completes the whole process. Check that out. It's a Continental, Lincoln Continental. And it sits right out front of the terminal. So, and they've got 60s music playing Frank Sinatra. It's, the whole, the whole ambiance is there. So people for 30 years came through this terminal where they checked in. One of those areas or down over there, which I'll show you in a second, but it's just very, very cool architecture. These, check these little vents here. This, right now, if you stood and stand in front of it, there's air coming out of that. <laughs> That's how they pump the air conditioning or the heating into this massive space. This is cool. So, any train or airport person this flip boards you know that flip I don't know if this is original or if this is restored but um, obviously it's a representation of some some flights that are not real flights they're just there but it'll flip through and it'll change and their rivals and simulating kind of how it used to how it used to run oh it's 910 check it out and everywhere you go, it's branded with TWA. There's another old vehicle down there. And let me take you up here. So that's the check-in area for the hotel. So it's a hotel now. So it took me a long time to get to that, but this is basically the lobby. They've got some bars, they've got some shops. Um, you can hear the music playing. I'm gonna show you something really cool in a second. You come up these old tile stairs. Check these out, look at this. This is original. Maybe that skid strip is not, but this tile is original from when this place was built in the 60s. And it's just been restored beautifully. I mean, the angles, the mid-century modern look, it's just cool. And stuff like this, this little air vent here. And again, you can feel the air blowing up from there, but it's incorporated into the whole structure, the architecture, every little nook and cranny. This just feels like Airport 74, you know? No water fountain, but in an old wall. And they have these really cool little exhibits. Check it out, very 60s. That's definitely very 60s. Photo booth. And 
Polaroid cameras. That might not be 60s, but I get it. Um, that's just a really cool vibe. Now, up through these tunnels, this is where you went after you checked in from your flight behind. You would go out to these, these tunnels to your airplanes. There would be like the little satellites, um, which are all torn down now. It's now the JetBlue terminal. But you would go through there to get to your satellite terminal. And so in this, now it's been repurposed, the Hughes guest room. Hughes, which of course is Howard Hughes, which owned TWA for a period of time back in the day. Eccentric Howard Hughes, yes. He actually flew too. He was a, supposedly he was a fairly decent pilot. Check out the suspended walkway. I'm gonna take you to, I'm gonna take you upstairs in just a second, but I want you to see this. Come on, that red, right? I'm gonna take you outside on a future, on a, on a different uh, video, but this is spectacular. As a fully restored TWA Lockheed Super Constellation, Super Connie as they called it. This was, this area here, it was all windows as it is now. This was the, this was the ramp area. Remember the planes like this would pull up and you would go out onto the ramp, board your plane for your destination, whatever that may have been. And they have painstakingly recreated that experience with this, that's like a, 50 year old airplane, it's gorgeous. And they have things set up like what you see, what a runway looks like. It's pretty darn accurate, almost. Some of the colors are off. I'm a pilot, I'm a weirdo. But look at this. Now I'm gonna take you upstairs. Second tier. And check out the twister room over there. Can you see that? It's a it's a full-size twister room with a spinner that you can play twister. Nobody's doing it right now. I'm sure that more drinks would have to be involved for people to participate in that. But I take you up to the second level. Now look at this. Look at this design. Imagine the 60s. People coming in in their Sunday clothes, their, their best clothes to go fly somewhere. Because that's kind of how it was. Now it's kind of flip-flops and shorts, which is good because we want to be comfortable. But it was a different era. It was, I guess I want to say maybe a little glamorous. Yeah, very glamorous. Because not many people flew and so it was kind of had a mystique about it. The investors, in this hotel have done uh, this, this this terminal all of this all of this was near <sighs> closer to the wrecking ball than you could imagine could you imagine if this was ripped down if it was destroyed instead and it's always way more expensive <sighs> to refurbish something like this because there's just so much it's like a money pit do you imagine that this company that did this put a lot of money into this and they did a great job preserve this for future generations there's a runway simulation super connie this beautiful red carpeted area um over there is a restaurant over there around there is a bar seating area and over here I'm gonna probably gonna get cut off around 10 minutes. It's a long video, but there's a little kind of like a little museum area over here. 
Where you've got uniforms from flight attendants? And down over here, some pilots. So over the years, you can, you can actually see, this is 71 to 75. It's very 71 to 75. And moving up here, this is 75 to 78. You can, you can actually see if you've lived long enough. The evolution, of course, the pilot uniforms have looked the same since 1906. It's never really changed. The old, our old flight bags. We used to have to carry those around. Now everything that went in there, and then some, goes into a tablet. But, how cool. I'm gonna do some more stills, and if you get a chance, and you're up in JFK, and you've got a few hours, come over here, walk around, get a drink, have a sandwich, just check it out. You don't have to spend any money. Just. Take your boarding pass so you can go through security. Come over here and just experience what people in the 60s came through those doors. Checked in over there and walked up and boarded airplanes all over the country and the world for that matter. Right, I'm gonna end up on, they call this like, the sunken something or other. I think it's definitely well worth the red shot to finish up here with the TWA in the background. Hey, thanks for watching.